Hello everyone, my name is Hamad Ghulam Razai or Ghulam Raza. Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about neighborhoods in architecture. How should the neighborhoods be accessible? The surveys that have been done have brought a better feeling to the residents of the neighborhoods that have limited access. Access can be in the form of a crossroads or as a restriction. It has no right-hand neighborhoods, boundaries, and in fact, no entrance. But the neighborhoods on the left has an entrance and clear border. The question that uh, arises is why the neighborhoods on the left brings a better feeling to the residents. First, I will tell you from my personal experience. In the neighborhoods where we lived, uh, there was an entrance for cars, a chain and a lock that only the residents had the key to. What was happening in the neighborhoods at that time? Of course, not only because of the entrance to the neighborhoods, other issues such as uh, skyline were also discussed. Um, anyway, the whole events that were happening in the place at the time are very different from what is happening now. Sidewalks were a place to stop and communicate and talk. But now sidewalks have become a place to move fast and ignore to the space uh, in which it's located in fact people like to escape from that space to have a pause to the stop and uh, the sidewalk at the time was a place to sit communication play football and many other things that make up the communication and uh, various activities in the small neighborhoods community. 